So this is the GT14 by Bearing Optics. This is a Gen 2 Plus, whatever that means, white phosphor mono night vision device. I believe this retails on Optics Planet for about $1,800. I've seen people get it for way, way cheaper. I've tried purchasing this unit from Optics Planet and you know, they gave me uh, a certain lead time, which they lied about and I had to cancel it and then re try reordering it and um, basically they gave me another lead time, which was not true. They basically do not have this actual item in stock. No one is sponsoring this video because no one will sponsor me. But even if they did, even if Optics Planet offered me a referral code that I could provide, I wouldn't give it to anyone, including my worst enemy, because Optic Planet completely sucks ass. So this unit, at a quick glance, looks like a typical PVS-14. It has the typical diopter up front, has the objective lens here. It has your typical uh, PBS-14 turn knob. This is the onboard IR illuminator and it sucks ass. It takes your AA batteries. It's made of the typical polymer-like housing. And it takes the typical PBS-14 screw mounts. However, this is not an actual PBS-14. As far as the information that I could find online, and this tube actually came in with a spec sheet from Photonis, I don't know how accurate this could be compared to an actual, for example, Photonis Echo Tube or Photonis Hybrid or 4G or whatever, um, because it doesn't look like it to my eye. What I mean by that is the image quality, you know, is usable. I would say this device is not the worst decision you can make in your life, but it's also probably not the best. When looking through this tube, there's a significant distortion uh, around the edges and there is definitely magnification. Now, what I want out of a night vision device is a true 1X. When I am looking through this device and I'm also looking at the surrounding environment, I am seeing a flat image and I am seeing a 1x as true as possible. This unit that I've received, I'm getting more closer to even like, I would say a 1.5 or maybe even a 2x. Like it's pretty significant. What does that mean? It means mounting this on a mount, putting it on your bump helmet, and then doing tactical operations at night as you do, uh, running around and stuff, is gonna be very disorienting. And I would not recommend uh, this device to do that. What I would kind of, how I would see a use case for this device would be maybe like surveillance, um, maybe uh, hunting, maybe, you know, just scanning uh, into the foliage at night. However, I feel like there are much better options. If you can just save a couple hundred more dollars, then you can get an actual legit Gen 3 tube from a reputable dealer. I'm not sure why they why this is in white phosphor, um, I guess that could be a selling point. In my opinion, the couple hundred dollars you could be saving choosing a green phosphor tube could go towards a better performing tube, which is gonna be, in my opinion, the better route. At the end of the day, you are able to see at night um, and the image quality is usable, even though there is significant distortion in fisheye um, and the unit that I received has a pretty high halo effect. When I use this in like urban lighting conditions um, and there's artificial light, it's really, it produces a lot of artifacts. So this device comes with a lot of accessories, uh, like this travel case and a whole bunch of mounts and accessories. It even comes with this skull crusher. I mean, look at this thing. Dude, this thing looks like a medieval, like sex torture device this thing is crazy it also comes with this i guess shroud that you can put on a regular helmet and then use this as as a mount yeah but um this is all complete trash and it's kind of irritating how much materials went into creating complete trash because this is completely unusable i would toss that immediately uh, if you do to decide getting this unit. When looking through this device, you know, it's not the worst decision you can make, but it's not the best. If you have any other questions, just drop a comment.
down below. That trash can is about 50 yards away or so. There's a tree. There's a good amount of detail that, that you're able to kind of pick up. 